today we're leaving Tushla. We've been in this city for the past three days. It's been an absolutely beautiful city, but it's time for us to continue exploring Mexico. So we're currently heading to the bus station. After about an hour, we are back in the town of San Cristobal, which if you've watched my previous videos, we've come to before. This is literally the third time I have come to San Cristobal. But the reason we're here in San Cristobal is only for a transit stop. Our next stop here in Chiapas is gonna be a town called Comitan, but to get there from Tuxla, the road is completely blocked. I think they're doing some reparation or construction. So the only way we can get there is through San Cristobal. So we've arrived here at San Cristobal, We've got the van right behind me. That's the van that we're going to take. And hopefully we'll be in Comitán in a couple of hours. Well, guys, after a two hour bus ride, I think we can finally say it. Welcome to Comitán. Comitán's actually a pretty small town, but it's like really, really in the southern part of Mexico. This is probably as far south as it gets. We're about an hour away from the border with Guatemala, so this is a city that is pretty, pretty far south, but apparently it's supposed to be really, really safe. Today what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk around Comitán. Apparently it's a beautiful city to visit. There's lots of things to see, so we're gonna go ahead and visit the city of Comitán. Let's go. Well, we have made it to the first stop of the day, just like any time I visit a Mexican city. First stop we have to see is the market. Welcome to the 1st of May market here in Comitán. Well, the municipal market is a municipal market. It's busy, it's hectic, it sells basically everything, food, vegetables. It's got, you know, stalls, meats, clothes, everything basically. Nothing special to me. There's nothing unique here in Comitán to that market. But it's just a nice place to get a, a, a feel for the atmosphere here in Comitán. So we're going to keep walking around the center of the city. Well, just a couple blocks away from the market is the main central area of Comitán. But a lot of things are closed. Right behind me here is the main plaza of Comitán. But as you can probably tell, there's tape and everything, it's shut off, but it looks really nice. It's got these beautiful trees. You've got a gazebo in the center. It's absolutely beautiful. Behind me is this yellow church right here. This is supposed to be the main municipal church of Comitán, but that is also closed, unfortunately. But this entire plaza area is really, really beautiful. You've got a lot of like little stalls selling snacks, ice creams, raspados, a lot of little different snacks going on. And people are here just chilling. It's, it's in the afternoon, it's bright, it's sunny, but there are still a lot of people here. It's absolutely beautiful, but everything is just closed, unfortunately. Just off one of the roads of the main plaza is our next stop for the day. This is the House Museum of Belisario Dominguez. Who is Belisario Dominguez? Turns out he was a doctor here in Chiapas who traveled to France to study, came back, but he was involved in the politics of Mexico. He was in Mexico City when the senator of Chiapas was murdered in the early 1900s in the revolution. So he had taken over as the senator and afterwards he was also murdered very, very unfortunately. But this house museum is the house where he was born in here in Chiapas. And it shows his entire life story, you know, how his wife died, his kids, um, his career from being a doctor to a politician, basically. A lot of interesting facts about him. And they also have his pharmacy, his bed, his um, clinic that he would use 
to treat patients here in Chiapas. So it's really, really interesting. I didn't even know about this place. I didn't know who Belisario Dominguez is, but it's a very, very informative museum and everything is set up really, really nicely. One of the best museums I've seen in Mexico. Unfortunately, because of the pandemic, they haven't been running tours inside the museum because there are some like medical tools and stuff in there that were really, really cool, but I had no clue what they were. But usually they'll run tours, but because of the pandemic, they're not doing them. But that has got to be one of the coolest museums I've seen. The house museum is beautiful itself. It's in this old Mexican house. It's beautiful. And then the information and everything, it's so in informative. There's, you're going to learn a lot there. And I have definitely am very, very interested more in Berisario Dominguez and the history of Chiapas. I'm currently standing behind this sign that says that Comitán is actually a Pueblo Mágico. I had no clue that Comitán was actually a Pueblo Mágico. It's quite hard to be a Pueblo Mágico. You have to have a lot of history and you have to be like certified and everything. But walking around this town, I have to say, I completely understand why this place is a Pueblo Mágico. It's really, really charming in its own way. And to me, it's kind of like San Cristobal without the tourists. And I absolutely love that. And yeah, it turns out it is a Pueblo Mágico absolutely deserves it. I love this town so far. The colonial old buildings, absolutely beautiful. guys it's about half an hour later and although the sun hasn't completely set yet a couple factors are making me change my decision first these dark rain clouds are coming in so it's probably gonna rain soon and the wind is really really strong and I'm really really cold so I think we're gonna get off the viewpoint here soon the viewpoint is beautiful and there's like there, there's literally nobody here um, there were a few people here earlier but now they've all left I guess the cold and the wind really got to them, but there's literally nobody here right now. It's absolutely stunning. And you have an entire view of Comitán. It's, it's really beautiful and you realize, like I said, it's really, really small. It's one main street and then a couple smaller streets that spread out and that's it. You can see the church and the center and everything from here. It's all really, really small. Comitán's a really beautiful town. It's a Pueblo Mágico in my opinion. It's kind of like San Cristobal before it exploded with tourism. So it's really, really beautiful. And you 
could easily, you know, visit the entire place in half a day because there's really not that much to see and not that much to do. But it's just a beautiful place to walk around, a beautiful place to visit, and of course, the perfect place for a jumping point off to see other locations, which we will do in the next video. So make sure to stay tuned for that. But I'm going to end the video here because that's going to be it for Comita. And today was kind of a travel day, but once we got here, I decided, you know, let's just explore the city. It's a nice city to walk around. It's really, really calm, really quiet, really safe. So if you're in Chiapas, this is a good stop to make. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. I I actually really, really like Comita. It's a really, really tranquil place. And make sure to stay tuned for the upcoming videos because I've got a lot more videos coming your way. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye guys.